Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another eyeshadow palette review. Somehow we have made it midway through March and this is only my third palette review of the year, I think. The palette that I'm gonna be talking about is the I Heart Revolution Unicorn Heart Glow Palette. It's a little bit confusing because all of the packaging just says Unicorn Heart, but I've checked the Revolution website, I'm looking at it right now, and it definitely has the word glow in there, so that is what we're going for. If you are thinking that that name does sound a little bit familiar, that is because I Heart Revolution have previously had a palette called Unicorn's Heart. It was a few years ago, I'm not exactly sure when it came out, but I did actually have that palette. I have now decluttered it, but if you guys are curious about it, I will link the video up in the cards for you. Please forgive the quality of that video because it was two years ago, so it's not, it's not great, but I will link it for you guys if you are interested in seeing it. I'm pretty sure there has been at least one other unicorn themed palette, as well as a whole collection, and I think they did a whole thing where they had unicorn, dragon, and mermaid, and this month, they went ahead and released a new unicorn themed collection. I only picked up the palette, there was nothing else that was really interesting me. I think off the top of my head there might be some tinted lip balms, maybe a primer or liquid highlighter, I'm not sure. A shimmery setting spray, which I was tempted by, but I've not had great experiences with that from Revolution so far, so I avoided it. And then a brush set, which is like £15 for four brushes, I think, and I was like, that's not super expensive, but it feels expensive for Revolution. As always, there will be timestamps in the description box if you guys want to skip ahead to any section of the video and we're going to start by jumping in to the details. So this is of course the I Heart Revolution Unicorn Heart Glow Palette. I have to say the packaging is kind of cute, like it's just plastic, it's just clear plastic with a yellow tinge but I don't know, I think I think it's kind of cute. This is an 18 shade eyeshadow palette and before buying it I did not realise that that there's not a single matte in here. It's just all metallic, so if you weren't aware of that and you were thinking about this palette, just letting you know in case that's something that sways you either way. The palette retails for £10 and you are getting 18 grams in there, so one gram per shadow, which is pretty good. And in terms of cost per gram, we're doing pretty well, we're pretty affordable, we're at 56p per gram. As you can see, that is cheaper than most of the Revolution palettes that I own. I think I've only got a couple, including another I Heart Revolution palette that are cheaper. So in terms of affordability, I'm really, really happy happy with this one. The palette does come in a cardboard box. All of this is really hard to show you on camera because it keeps catching the light. Really cute. You've got a unicorn on there. You've got the same stars as you do on the box. On the back we do have the ingredient list. They aren't on the palette so if you do need to keep an eye on those as always do just keep a hold of the box. You do as always with Revolution have a diagram on the back with all of the shades numbered. Any of them with an asterisk they are pressed pigments. And we do as always have the symbol on the back saying that pressed pigments are not ISO. I use them on my eyes, I never have any issues, but if you are sensitive, it's something to be aware of. We do also have some pinks and some reds in here, so more than likely, we're gonna get some staining with these shades. In terms of the design of the palette, what I like about this is it's really simple and it's also really sleek, so it's not gonna cause you any issues with storage. There's no like, you know, it's not like the chocolate bars where you've got this and you can't really stack them because you've got that, so it's just nice, sleek, simple. And then we have the shades inside the palette. Hi, do you want to come in? Milton's at the door again. And you can see that there is a colour family that has been chosen here. I do feel like it's pretty cohesive. We're definitely leaning more pinks, reds, oranges, but we have this one down here that looks really interesting. We have some golds. So overall, I do think that this is quite an interesting colour family that they've chosen. So that is it for the details. So let's jump straight into the swatches. If you can hear loud noises, snoring, snorting. Milton has now entered the room, but he just won't let me pick him up to show to you guys because... He's a grumpy old man, basically. Anyway, let's do these swatches. These feel so, so, so soft. So, our first shade is called Myth, which is a yellow. Then we have Dreamer. I quite like the look of that. It's like a peach with some gold in it. Then we have Spiral. Very cute as well. Next up is Tail. I quite like that one. I didn't realise that would be that lilac. I feel like some of these look more interesting on the arm than they do in the pan so far. Then we have Unicorn. This one does look white in the pan, but does seem to have like a pink duochrome to it. So again, just more interesting once you swatch it. Then Alicorn. Oh, they're really reflective. I feel like you pick them up and they look like they could be chalky. But once you swatch them, they are pretty. Next up we have Whimsy. Then Lion. And then charge. Ooh, that's cute. That's very cute. Next is luck. That is a very pretty pink. Then we have narwhal. I love that they have a shade with that name in here. And then pastoral. Oh, I'm not going to be able to fit them all. Let's try. Um, legend. 
that's a very pretty shade. Then Phoenix, Adventure. They're gonna end up on top of each other, aren't they? Just trying to make sure I can fit all of them in. Then we have Centaur, Alchemy, and Tapestry. I did it, I fit them all. That is what the palette looks like. Sorry, they are a little bit of a mess. I think that these all swatch absolutely beautifully. I know that they are all metallics and metallics are easier to formulate than matte, so I would hope that they swatch well. But thinking back to my review of the ultraviolet palette the other day, I didn't really feel like the metallic swatched very well in there, so that is absolutely not the case today. I think the lighter shades almost look like they have a sparkle, but you can't really see a glitter. I do think my pale arm and then the very pale background behind, some of these pale shades aren't popping as much as you'd want, but the darker ones at the bottom, they definitely are. None of them feel like a putty formula. I don't know if we've ever had that putty formula in I Heart Revolution anyway. I don't have that much experience with them, but they've all swatched really well. They feel really soft, really buttery, like kind of everything that you want, especially when you don't have any mattes in the palette. If you're gonna have an all metallic palette, they all need to be good. And yeah, swatch wise, I am really, really happy with these. So now that that's done, let's move on into the tutorial for this look. All right guys, my eyes are primed as always with my PWS base. Now I am gonna cheat a little bit today and I don't normally like to do this, but because there are only shimmer shades in this palette and I'm not very good at doing a look just out of shimmer shades, I'm gonna have to use some matte. Luckily I do have another palette from I Heart Revolution which is made up of only matte shades and it is the I Heart Revolution Chocolate cinnamon palette and I have to say when you put these two next to each other it's kind of hard to see because of how reflective this is I do feel like these two color schemes are, like they would work quite well together they're quite complementary so I thought it would work quite well to use this first so the first shade that I'm gonna take from this one is gonna be sumac on a zoeva 231 I'm not gonna spend too too long on this because this palette isn't the focus of this video but I'm gonna start by popping that on my outer corner and then just coming in underneath as well, packing that on. And if you guys do wanna see more using this palette, I do have a review and a tutorial. So I will link that playlist up in the cards for you guys. I'm gonna bring that up maybe a little bit higher and really round it off. Then next to that, I'm gonna go into the shade Pink Pepper on a Morphe M456. And I'm gonna just blend out the first shade. I'm gonna go all around it, sticking to that nice round shape. And I'm gonna pull the shades a little bit further into the crease. And then I'm gonna go into the lighter pink, which is called Harissa, just on a Morphe M433. And just same again here, just blending that out, keeping it really simple. And now I'm just gonna go back through all three of those shades from darkest to lightest, just to make sure that everything is nicely blended out. Alright, so we do have quite a few shades to choose from in here. I feel like a few of them look like they're quite close to each other. I think the first one I might try is Legend, just down here. I'm just gonna make sure I haven't got any creasing at the front here. So let me try popping Legend on with a brush. Okay, that picks up really well. I'm just popping that next to that first shade from the Cinnamon palette. Okay, that packs on really well. No issues, you can't see much, but I have just got like a tiny little bit of it. Um, but yeah, that looks nice. Nothing bad to say. I'm finding it hard to pick what I wanna use because there's so many shades. They do look really, really pretty as well on the finger. I think I'm gonna go for Spiral on the front of the eye and then Luck will be my transition. Hopefully that works. So I'm just gonna start off with Spiral on a flat brush. And that is really pretty. I have got Absolutely no issues picking these shades up. They work absolutely fine with a brush. I feel like it's a nice amount of metallic. It's pretty. Let me just try with my finger. I don't feel like it makes the biggest difference with my finger because it, it's not like a putty formula or anything. And then another flat brush. Let's try luck. Mm, 
thought it would be a bit more different. I mean, I guess you can see that it is more of a pink, but there's not a massive difference between these two shades. So I'm just bridging the gap between both of those shades. Just gonna try my finger on the other eye. I wouldn't say it makes a massive difference at all if you're using your finger. So now let me go back into some more of Spiral. They're pretty close to each other, so I think they're gonna blend in pretty well. I mean, they look like the same shade. <laughs> they do. And then more of Luck. I'm also gonna bring it backwards back on my first shade. And then I'll take some more of Legend as well. I mean, yeah, they blend in pretty well into each other. No complaints. I'm just going to take my M433 again, just to blend in the top edge a bit. It's gotten stuck. I don't know if you guys can see, like, there's like a really defined shape where the metallic is laying down. I'm just trying to blend it out, but having a bit of a struggle, that's a bit annoying. Next, I'm going to take the shade Unicorn, which is the lightest one. I'm taking it on a Zoeva 231. Um, and I've taken a bit much, yet yeah, I've got loads of fallout. I'm just gonna highlight the brow bone with it. Oh, okay, I thought that was white. I would say that's definitely got some pinky undertones to it. It's quite cute. I don't know how well you guys can see it on camera, but that is very cute. Right, I think I am just gonna jump back into the cinnamon palette. I'm gonna add some more of Sumac, just to deepen that. Then again, pink pepper. I'm just going through the shades again, just making sure you can really see them and that they blend out really nicely into my metallics. And then just again into Harissa. I like the way that that's looking so far. It's pretty simple, but I do think it looks pretty. I think I do kind of wish that the palette had other textures um, rather than just metallics, but saying that, I feel like these are some of the prettier metallics that I've seen from Revolution recently. I don't know if it's just because they're lighter shades or just because they're more pinky, but I do think that they are pretty. It does have an ethereal look to it. Like I definitely see why they call this palette unicorn. So, you know, I definitely get the theme here. I'm really happy with that. Let me just quickly prime my lower lash line and I'll be right back. All right, so my lower lash line is now primed. As you can see, I've just practiced what I wanted to do on this side. I was thinking of doing a contrasting lower lash line, but these shades down at the bottom are pretty dark. So I've kind of just stuck to what I had on the top lid as well. But I am gonna start with Alchemy down here, which is the red, just on a flat brush again. And I'm gonna pop that on the outer portion of the lower lash line, just to give a bit more depth out here. I'm going to take my M456 and just come in and blend. I added some right here as well. And now next to that I'm going to go into the shades I use on the top lid. So first it is Legend. Then next to that Luck. And then Spiral at the front. And then again, just taking the M456, just to kind of blend everything in and make sure I haven't got any harsh edges. Then I'm gonna take a Zoeva 231, and this time I'm gonna go into Myth, this lovely yellow, and that's gonna go on the inner corner. I've turned the autofocus off today, and I think I just forgot to focus it, so I've gotta do it manually. Okay, so that is it for the shadows. I do just wanna make the lid just a bit more interesting, just because, again, we only have metallic textures in this palette. So I'm gonna go into my W7 Galaxy Glam Metal Flash, and this is Cosmic. I've, as always, just taken the stopper off, and I just pick it up on a kind of flat, fluffy brush, I guess. And I'm gonna dab it on, and you do wanna be careful here, because I think it's removed the shadow on the other eye. So I'm just just trying to make sure that I'm not going over the same area twice too much. So I just let it dry and then pop on some more. And then I just added a nice thick liner and that's just using my Inglot gel liner as always. And then I'm just going to take a Sigma E36 just to softly blend that out on the outer corner. And I'm gonna add some more of Sumac as well. 
I'm just gonna finish the look off now and apparently I don't own the yellow pastel eyeliner from Beauty Bay and I'm not quite sure how that's happened. So I'm just gonna use the pink one instead which is called, where's the name, Cotton Candy. And that's just gonna go on the waterline. Just done that without focusing again, haven't I? Why am I like this? And then to tie in with the yellow inner corner, I'm gonna go in with the shade Mellow from Sheen Cosmetics and just add a line just above my liner. And then if, like me, you are a little bit clumsy, just go back in with some more of the gel liner. All right, guys, well, that is... That, that, that is it for the eye look. Um, that was pretty quick today. I'm just gonna go and finish off the rest of my face and when I come back, we'll have a chat about my final thoughts on this palette. All right, guys, here is the finished look. I hope, as always, that you like it. I feel very cute. This is a look that I'd be really happy to wear out. It's pretty simple. It didn't take me that long, but yeah, I just am um, really, really pleased with it. So, on to my final thoughts about this palette. I have to say, guys, it's a pretty good first impression. As I said, I'm really happy with how this look came out. I I know that I haven't used that many shades from the palette. I would have liked to use more, but I also wanted to do a look that I was really happy with. And I did try a contrasting lower lash line, but I was like, if I do that, I won't like it as much. The shades that I did use though were really pleasant to use. I didn't have any problems with them. I felt like they worked on the brushes that I chose. There was no issue packing them on. They weren't like too dry and struggling or anything. I didn't even have to go in with like any extra base or glitter glue underneath. They kind of just worked. And I didn't find that using a finger instead of using a brush made a difference. So not only is it a palette that is super affordable, it's also one that is pretty easy to use. So very, very happy with that. I can also see why the colors were chosen to go with the theme and with the names I do think it's very cohesive when I put it on the eyes especially those lighter shades I was like yeah okay I can see where they were coming from I can visualize the unicorn and in terms of mixing it in with another palette that I have from them they worked really well together I can see myself pairing these together quite a lot I think the only negative for me and I guess I am being a little bit nitpicky here is I do wish that revolution would give us more textures especially you know considering that this is 18 shades without any mattes it doesn't always have to be metallics. Like, I feel like we can do something else. We do have Unicorn that definitely has a duochrome to it, like that more pinky tone. I feel like Dreamer has a little bit of a duochrome and that's great. But considering this is a Unicorn palette, so I'm thinking like really sparkly, really dreamy. I would have loved some ultra shimmery shades. And I don't know if that's something that Revolution ever does. I mean, we could have even had maybe one glitter in there, although I know that pressed glitters are very controversial, not everyone likes them, but that is something that they've put in other palettes before. So I guess if I had to be picky, I would say that I kind of wish that Revolution would give us other textures. It doesn't always have to be metallic. You could, you could spice it up a bit. But I am very happy with the look that I created today, so... I'm willing to let that slide for once. I, I think I think this is a very cute palette and I'm pretty happy to have bought it. So that is it for today's video, guys. I do hope as always that you enjoyed it. Definitely let me know what you think of this palette. If you're planning on buying it or if you've already bought it, have you used it? Let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. As well as that, if you did enjoy the video, then do make sure that you give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, then please make sure that you hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye guys!